could actually be here for quite some time. I think this is two kilo, it's either two or four kilo line. So judging by the pressure, I'd say it's about four. And this is just great fun. On this gear, things take a lot longer than what they appear when you look at them on your screen, but it's uh, kind of a nice feeling to have a rod with a serious bend in it. We've had uh, popper fishing for kingies before, and if you haven't had a go, uh, this is just a great endorsement of how successful the technique is when fish are around. Ooh. Hooking them up's one thing, but in uh, only 30 metres of water on light gear, you've got to be blimmin' lucky. And the fish is just quietly and steadily pulling off line. Sometimes not so quietly. Now you probably think that this rod's chosen for its dramatic bend, and that's probably part of it too. It's really a little bit soft for this sort of activity, but it didn't really come fully prepared. It's kind of nice to have a little less flexibility to enable you know, use your rod to better effect. Come on, mate. Son of a gun. How's that depth under the keel, Skipper? Oh well, gone from 30 metres to 50 metres and he's taken out about 75. <laughs> We're about 20 minutes or so into this little drama now. At least we've got a bit of water under the keel and hopefully I did have before, before you came back, I had line on this reel. And now the fish is done, we're taking it off again. There's a difference between fishing for meat and fishing for sport. And with light gear, of course, the emphasis is on the sport, not the meat, because your chance of recovery is minimal. And the barbs are all flattened, just in case the fish breaks off. You don't want it swimming around with uh, a popper sitting in its gob, so the popper quietly falls away. If that should come to pass, but of course it's not, because we're going to bring this fish up so you can see it. Here he comes. Come and... Uh, is it? Here's this fish. There you go, Justine. Gaffin. I'm going to pull him out. Gaffin. Gaffin. Good girl. Thank you very much. You well done. <laughs> there you go. It's the bat on a couple of kilos. And uh, actually completely swallowed the uh, popper and the swivels come undone. So uh, even though the swivel came undone, the old black magic's done its trick. Gee, that's a blimmin' lucky little effort. That's not bad, Justine. Should we go and catch another one? Let's go. Where do we go? Yep, let's go.